Hi everybody, Auntie Tiffany here. So I'm coming to show you the design that we made today and the second design. So both of these designs, we have our two pieces of string, either the same color or different colors. You then fold it in half. And I'm gonna try and go slowly to make this knot. You could try it by yourself or you could have mommy or daddy do it. We don't need a big knot. So we're working close to the end. We wrap it around our two fingers. And then we push this to the center and we pull so we have a little ring here just big enough for our finger to get through and we make it nice and tight and now I am going to attach mine to my clipboard Ooh, if I can get it in Okay, so mine is in now, and we're going to start weaving. So I'm going to show you the, the technique that I use in the end, I think that was easiest. So we have our four pieces of string, one, two, three, four, and we're going. So. We take our outer string and put it over one. Now we take this other outer string, because we always work with the outside strings, we're not doing much with the middle. And we bring it over, not just this one, but these two. Put it in here. Good. So it looks a little wonky on top, but that's okay. So once again, we have our four strings. One on the outside, two, three, and another one on the outside. Now, this next time, we're starting back here. So we're always starting on our right. We're moving our right string on the outside first. So once again, we have our four strings. We move this one over one. So we only cross it over one string. And then we take the outside string over here and cross it over the two strings in the middle okay so there we go once again we have one two in the middle and one two on the outside one two three four good taking it on the outside crossing it over one so it's coming in the middle and then we're taking the one on the outside and we're crossing it over these two like so yes i all see in a little bit of it coming together it's not quite time that we'll see it properly but it's looking good i think so all right so i just adjusted my strings they're the same they're in the same position you don't want to mess up the position of your strings so we're taking the one on the outside and we're crossing it over one And then we're taking the one on the other outside and we're crossing it over two one two in the middle and we're here once again we have our four strings one two three four so we're taking the one on the outside crossing it over one and we're taking the two on the outside and we're crossing it over these two in the middle yes so we could go ahead, we can pull a little bit while you're seeing some of the design coming together. Okay, and I am going to continue going like this all the way down. Outside, over one, and outside, over two. Again, outside, over one, and outside, over two, in the middle. So when I say one, I mean this one is only crossing over one string, and when I say two, I mean the outer string is crossing over two strings. So this first outside string only crosses over one. 
so 1. This outer string crosses over 2, so 1 and 2. I'm sorry if my hands are getting the way in the way a little bit. And I think you can still see what's going on here. You'll see it's coming together. Pretty, right? Good. So I'm going to continue going. I'm going to move my camera back just a little bit. My hands have some more space. And I'm going to continue weaving down. Cross over one string outside, crosses over the two strings. Cross over one string, and this outside one crosses over two strings. Cross over one string outside, crosses over oops, two strings. Great. One and two. And I'm finished. So now I'm just going to tie off the ends, leaving a space so that when we give it to our friends, they can tie it onto their hands using the loop on this end. And the same way we made that loop, we're going to make a knot on the end here. Now, if you'd like, you can add some beads. So you would have seen beads in the picture I posted, but my beads are a little too small. So you could add some beads on the end here or when you're going through you can add beads onto the strings as you go in between nice and easy okay so once again we're wrapping it around two of our fingers and we're pushing it through the middle make sure you get all four strings through the middle and you tie it And there you go, we have a beautiful friendship bracelet.